Hey guys, Michael here from AroundTheTech.com. I want to talk to you today about the brand new Galaxy S3 that Samsung just made official. I watched a little bit of the live stream and got a kind of a good taste of the Galaxy S3. And the, but before I get into the specs, I just want to sort of highlight what I think makes the Galaxy S3 unique. It's not necessarily the processor or the display, but the fact is that the software integration that this device is getting takes Android and bumps it up a step, very similar to the way the Lumia and Nokia have introduced unique features that differentiate it from Windows Phone 7. Samsung has taken the Galaxy S3 and added features to it that strongly differentiate it from every other Android device. So let's get into some of the specifics. I know that that's very important. So to start things off, this is a really big device. We were predicting a screen size that was probably like 4.65 inches. This is actually bigger than that at 4.8 inches. It's super AMOLED, not plus, so it is a pentile display. But with this technology and the high pixel resolution of 1280 by 720, which is 306 PPI, really the pentile display uh, downside is kind of mitigated, although it is still something to note. Uh, in terms of size, though, they've actually cut down the bezel, so it's only 136.6 by 70.6 by 8.6 millimeters. Uh, so it's still a very compact device, you know, when you take into consideration the huge screen size. It weighs in at 133 grams. Obviously, this device is running the, ra the latest version of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. It has a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core processor, Samsung's own silicone, and it has one gigabyte of RAM. In terms of creating content, which I think is big nowadays, it has an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and zero shutter lag. Basically, that's a lot of gar you know, they talked a lot about the camera. It basically just means that what you see on the display when you're, and what you see in real life is the same. So the picture is truly going to represent what you're taking a picture of. It also has 1080p recording. What's really interesting about the camera, though, is it has some unique features. For instance, burst shots. So you can take, click the button and take a lot of pictures all at the same time. It makes you, it gives you the ability to choose the best one. Speaking of the best one, there's a feature called best picture. It actually takes, you just click the picture button, but when this mode is enabled, it automatically bursts eight pictures and using Samsung algorithms decide which one is the best which is very interesting. There's also social aspects built into the camera. So if I take a picture of me and three of my friends, I can set it up so that it automatically MMSs or emails my friends the pictures that they're tagged in through face recognition, which is really cool. I think it works quite nicely. Now that was the rear facing camera. The front facing camera is 1.9 megapixels and can also capture HD, probably 720p video, which is pretty cool. Now with this huge display, quad core processor, what's the battery gonna be? Well, they claim that battery life is going to be excellent with the 2100 milliamp hour battery, which is actually quite large for a smartphone. In terms of the sizes, there's going to be a 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte models with micro SD expansion, which you don't see on a lot of smartphones nowadays anymore. And there's also going to be, they also have a partnership with Dropbox, so you'll also be getting 50 gigabytes of Dropbox storage. So, in essence, the Galaxy uh, S3 really is going to have a lot of storage for you. In terms of connectivity, it's actually shipping, this, this particular model that I've been talking about is actually HSPA+. Plus, um, and there's also going to be an LTE 4G model launching for the North American markets uh, at a later date. There's also NFC. And what's also cool is they've taken normal Wi-Fi, which every device has, and they've actually added technology called Wi-Fi channel bonding, which actually doubles the Wi-Fi bandwidth, which I'm not exactly sure how that technology works, but hey, Wi-Fi more bandwidth for Wi-Fi sounds pretty good to me, doesn't it? Now, when I was talking about some software um, features that differentiate it from other Android devices, I just want to mention a couple. First is pop-up play. I think this has a lot of potential. The way they demoed this feature is basically you're watching an HD video, then you can resize it down into a smaller frame, and while that video is still playing, then browse the web. So you can do two things at once. I think it's the first step in, in bridging you know, the multitasking that we do on computers with the multitasking that we do on mobile devices. And when this feature ultimately gets transplanted into, say, a, a tablet, I think it'll offer an extremely interesting approach to multitasking on mobile. Another interesting feature is S-Voice. This is basically Siri. Okay, it's voice control. You can change settings using your voice. You can, you know, dial, unlock your device, all these different features. It's definitely the most complete solution right now, I think, on Android, you know, to compete with Siri. And of course, this is going to be exclusive to the Galaxy S3. Just like Siri, though, you're going to need to be connected to Wi Fi or 3G or whatever the case may be because the commands get sent over the internet 
to the servers to handle those commands and get back to you, just the same way that Apple's Siri does. So obviously I can't mention all the software features uh, or all the hardware features in this first look, but just to finish things up, this device will be shipping in marble white and pebble blue. Both look very interesting. They're glossy and everything's in gla in case in Gorilla Glass 2, which means it'll be very, very strong. This is actually going to be shipping at the end of the month in Europe, May 29th. And again, in the United States, that LTE model will be shipping in the summer. No word on pricing yet, but I think it'll be in line with other smartphones of this class, particularly when it's subsidized by U.S. carriers. So that's a very quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is a very interesting device. This super phone at this point is clearly on the top of our list for um, Android devices. I, obviously, Android devices change very quickly. The turnover cycle is very fast. But I think the Galaxy S3, has what it has done is it's included great hardware for the base, but it's also, also differentiated itself from other Android devices, which will make this device pretty hard to beat for a long time. So guys, again, I'm Michael from AroundTheTech.com. We'll have coverage on the website for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.